I'm going to walk you guys through is my journey on Crushing on Camera with Forbes Riley. And when I tell y'all it was a journey, <laughs> but it was a great one. It really was. So you're going to see six days of me peeling back the onion of my life. And I have Forbes Riley to thank for that. I really do. I appreciate <laughs> the time she took out with each one of us to show us how to crush it on camera. And I'm going to show you what you should be doing. And show you how to get there too. So yes, I have on my cowboy's robe, you know, I'm representing my cowboys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> See you. Crush it on camera. Hi, you guys. I just finished crushing on the camera and that was the best four hours <laughs> of my life if you have not taken it I, I suggest you do so it was nerve-wracking but <sighs> I was scared because <laughs> I have been watching Forbes for a very long time it was worth it so what are you waiting for Hi guys, I am on in the Forbes Riley um, crush on camera. So the challenge today was to post a video with my favorite home appliance. You guys, I love this. I just love this. I love it, love it, love it, love it. If you are a working mother and just have to do so many other things and don't have time to cook, look, this is so easy. Even your kids can operate it. So Imagine that. Teamwork, huh? Okay. It looks like a crock pot. But it is a ninja. The auto IQ. Check this out. It's slow cooks. Steams. Bakes. And have a stove top setting. And you also see where you can make quick meals. Layered meals. Grains. Even poached and beauty. So, as you can see, it does a lot of things. The lid, check this out. Are you serious? Really? Yeah. Like I said, it roast and do other things too, steams and all. And you look at the insert. So tell me this is cool. Tell me this when I save you tons and tons of time. Can you imagine coming home from work? Dinner's already ready. Or you're working from home if you're upstairs in your office, you know, you're just under way when you're off at work. Come downstairs, dinner is ready. Again, you want to be in this program. It is the best thing that I ever did. It is getting me out of my comfort zone, which is what I need. Crush it on camera. So there. Hi, day two of Crush it on camera. We are to provide three things that we learned about pitching. The first one I want to discuss is being creative. I love being creative, I love innovation. So that one will be real cool for me. Another thing was problem solving. I love getting my hands dirty and solving problems. So I think I would come up with great pitches for that also. Um, another thing is motivating others. I'm all about teamwork, so that's gonna be a fun one. And I'm gonna go ahead and do four, which was listen to diverse opinions. I love teamwork as I stated and those diverse opinions will really help me to get my pictures together. So, zero crush it. Hello world. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna to talk a little bit about an obstacle that came when I was younger. Um, I guess I really wasn't young, young. I had just, you know, gone through my parents' divorce and 
you know, I've always had someone to take care of. You know, my younger sister decided she wanted to go out to Job Corps and my brother moved with my dad. So it left me alone in the house to take care of all the bills. <laughs> and I just really wanted someone to take care of. So I was 20 years old and I decided to have a baby. <laughs> Crazy enough, I did. I planned to have a baby and uh, ended up not staying in that relationship and of having two children by him. And I left. And that was a very tough situation for me because I went to live with my mother who forced me to go on welfare, which I never thought I would ever have to do. You know, I was always self-sufficient. I've always had two jobs. I was going to school. And I said, there's no way I'm going to live on welfare. That was very tough for me. And I want to tell you, I was very resilient and I bounced back from that. I am no longer on welfare. <laughs> I actually only stayed on welfare receiving the uh, check for, I think about a year or two and getting food stamps, but then I required assistance with medical and also child care help. Well, I finally got a job with the government system and when they told me that I would have to go and take a part-time job to get help and get rid of my vehicle that I owned, there was no way I was going back. So I toughed it out. I said, you know what? Y'all can have your welfare. You can have your assistance. I no longer need it. And I never looked back. It was tough for me, but I bounced back from it. If I can do it, you can do it. Hello. Now, I am going to tell you how I start my day. Every morning, I make sure I get up, I pray, I read my Bible and study it because that is what God tells me to do. I need to be intentional. I need to be focused. I need to start my day off the way that he intended me to do. So I start my day with him. Enjoy yours. Let's talk about a little bit about the importance of training, accountability, mentorship, and partnership. Where's training? You must continue to grow. Never let anyone tell you you know enough. You don't. Continue to grow, continue to train. Your mind needs to grow and develop and continue on. You know, a seed requires water. So look at your brain as a seed. It requires water, it requires nutrients. You need to continue to feed it. And let's talk about accountability. You must hold yourself accountable for everything that you do. Never stay complacent. Never say, you know, it's okay because of this. It's okay because of that. It's not okay. Hold yourself accountable and hold others accountable. Let's talk about partnerships. You can't do it alone. No matter how great you are, you need someone's help. You need someone to come along with you on that ride. You need someone to say, hey, well, you can't do this, but I can. Let's partner together. Let's have a relationship. Let's grow and thrive together. Mentorship is crucial. Very, very, very crucial. You must ensure that you have someone step you along the way. You know, as far as bouncing ideas off of, someone who can actually show you the way they went if you're trying to go that route. You know, how did they, how did they succeed? You know, get some points from them. Grow, as I stated before, with training. Everything starts with you. Hold yourself accountable. Ensure you're taking your training. Partner with others, and guess what? Find a mentor. You need more than one mentor. A mentor for every stage of your life, every part of your life that you never go to. You need them. It's me again. Yes. So, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what Forbes Riley has helped me understand. First of all, that I am on fire! 
Man, let me tell you, when I first uh, started the expression on camera, I was like, oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be here. What happens if she picks on me? <laughs> but she doesn't pick on you. She just pretty much pulls out what's already within you. So it was funny when she was making me pull out a pillow. I'm like, I don't want to pull out a pillow. I saw her do this before or something. I'm like, I don't want to do that. But it actually was an eye opener. And it was a pretty good moment. It helped me see a lot that I needed to see. Uh, and because of Forbes, I am pretty much getting out of my shell. I've been getting out slowly but surely, but now it's like, girl, what are you waiting on? I was always so humble and not wanting to, you know, say anything about me having a doctoral degree. And and she was like, why not? <laughs> you worked, pretty much you worked your ass off. Why aren't you, you know, letting the world see it? Why aren't you saying it? You know, and and it's like, she made me feel like it's, it's okay. It's okay, I'm okay. I'm better than okay. I'm a badass. Thanks, Forbes. <laughs> we are almost to the end. My crush it on camera, people. <laughs> this has been exciting and such a journey. When I tell you that Forbes knows how to pull out the best in you, let me tell you, she does. She really, really, really does. I was a bit scared at first, but I'm like, why am I scared? You know, I'm paying this money to grow, in which I always have. And I, if I tell my clients to do things like this, why, why am I scared? So, man, talk about a mindset, sad shift. I was always in a shell, no matter how much I knew I was I was a badass. I would hide because my friends and family wouldn't think, you know, less of themselves. But I can't control what they do or don't do. I worked my ass off for this. So why am I letting somebody else stop me? I'm gonna shine until I die. And I'm probably gonna still be shot in the grave, let me tell you. <laughs> oh man. And I will be going on camera more. You know, um, I'm no longer shy. Everyone is gonna see me. Everyone already hears me. I'm on the radio with 90 countries. <laughs> well, 90 plus countries is growing. So guess what? Y'all gonna see me and you gonna hear me. Cause I was born for this. I really, really was. And I have made some connections that will last a lifetime. Thank you, Forbes. And one more thing, my accountability partner was a bomb. Oh my God, Philip is the best. You matched us up perfectly. My life is forever transformed. It's because of you, Forbes. Thank you. Computer. Hey, Tracy, good morning. Uh, I am loving this Crush It on camera with you. It's been so much fun. And now we get to do this interview. So I got a few questions I'm gonna ask you and, and this is a way for me just to get to know more about what you're doing. I've seen your website. It's awesome. I love it. I love the the theme that you use about like growing and, and there's a lot of stuff about where I can see farmers on there and, and things like that. So I love that. But tell me when, when did you start the leaders and why did you start it? What need did you see that you wanted to fill? Well, for one, thanks for this interview. You're welcome. Two, um, I've always had the heart to help others. So, and I've always had this thing about leadership. You know, I was a brownie and then a Girl Scout. Okay, <laughs> love that. And then I, you know, became an adult, well, actually a teenager, and I was um, over a youth group. And I was like, this is so much fun, it's so much, it's cool. You know, people are listening and I get to grow as I grow others and yeah, so. When I was young, I came up with the name um, T. Hines Enterprises. I always wanted, I knew I was going to have my own company. So nice. I just, <laughs> yeah, I decided to um, actually make that my parent company and started a leadership company. So that is where the Leaders Innovative Growth Solutions um, stems. Yeah. 
I love it. I love it. So I noticed on your website as I was just reading some stuff, it says that you actually altered your direction. And can you kind of explain what that means? What did you alter and exactly why why did you alter? Did you see something where okay, this is not working and I've got to I've got to kind of pivot and I've got to go do this? Well, I always thought I had to have all the answers. So my programs were based on what I needed, not what my clients would, or customers would need. Uh -huh. So I had to step back and think like, wait, you need to find out what people are in need of and fill that void. Find those solutions for them. Not for Tracy, but for them. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I, lo I love that you saw that, you realized that, and you made that change. I think that's great. Um, okay, so tell me, you tell me how you help businesses, like maybe a business like mine, where I'm just the, I'm it. Uh, <laughs> I am the only person. Or how do you help businesses that have a large amount of employees? You know, what's the different things that you do to help those businesses uh, either be more successful or in leadership or... What's, what's kind of a few of the programs that you use to work with people like me or business owners or businesses that have employees? Well, for the solopreneur, <laughs> I would pretty much teach you how to network with others, you know, and, and grow that team that you never thought you could have. Because we always think, a lot of times we think we have to be the only one. We have to be the geniuses and we have to do it all. You can't do it all. You need to learn how to grow and do things in your and for your business, not in your business. Got so it. you have to work on your business. Got it. Yeah, you and I are pretty similar in some of the things that we do. Yes, yes. And for organizations, like I said, I am up. Teams are my thing. You know, whether it be at home or at work. So I, I just love the team concept, and and that is what I really focus on is creating those teams. And as a mother you know raising children and husband always gone because he was deployed a lot i i was losing tracy i didn't know how to get me back so now i have a program where i help mothers and it's this mom leaves so wow and we yes yes it helps them create those teams at work so they can leave on time create the teams at home so they don't have to go home right after work they can do what they want to do. Have that woosah moment and know Stop. that things are okay. <laughs> I love that. I know what that's from. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. So, yes. so let's talk about, I, I, so let's talk, I have two more questions that just okay. came up. Number one, so if I were to go out and hire an employee and bring them on somewhere, you know, in the next year, mm -hmm. Could I connect with you and have you help me in the training of that employee and helping turn that employee to be another, just a leader in the business? Because in reality for me, I don't want just an employee. I want mm -hmm. someone that wants to be a part of this, be a part of yes. building it, be a part of it growing and seeing the opportunity that they may have. Is that something that you can help me with? And, and Yes, sir, it is. So I also have an, um, a background in HR. I have a master's degree in HR. <laughs> so that is something else that I do. And that is one thing about me. It's like so many things that I have went out and, you know, captured and, and learned, they all harmonize with each other, you know? And yes. <laughs> I just learn more and more and more. I'm just peeling back the layers of Dr. Tracy Hine, <laughs> Hines this week. I was lastly so that, I mean, there's just so much that I never knew. Yes, yes. And that is why I started writing books. You know, I've co-authored four books already. So they are set to release this fall. And I'm working on my own book and the This Mom Leads initiative is going to actually stem into a series. Well, I can tell you there's somebody here in Denver that I need to introduce you to because <laughs> what she's doing, she has a nonprofit here and okay. she's working with moms just after they have babies because wow. of the postpartum depression problem that occurs. And she's working with them and helping them with that. But I think you'd be a great like power partner wow. for her 
because then once they're kind of past that, then you can teach them at a very early stage mm -hmm. how to develop that team. Yes. So I'm definitely going to make that introduction. And mm -hmm. I want when your book, when your book is done, I want a signed copy. You got it. All right. Thank you. I appreciate doing this, uh, doing the interviews. These, this was great. I even learned more that I didn't know, which is awesome. And I think whoever watches this, uh, it, you know, in Forbes Inner Circle and and, in, and I encourage you to put this out maybe on your own personal Facebook page as well so people can see it. I think that would be great. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and...